Thank you for taking time to learn more about MindTap, the online solution for career and technical education courses. In this video, we'll talk more about MindTap across the construction trades, including welding, HVAC, electricity and electrical wiring, carpentry, basic construction, and even more. Welcome to the MindTap interface. Right now, you're looking at MindTap for Refrigeration and Air Conditioning Technology, the 9th edition. On the left-hand side, you'll see what we call the learning path. The learning path is organized by the same structure as your print textbook. If you had a copy of Refrigeration and Air Conditioning next to you, you'd notice that that book has 10 sections and 50 units. MindTap includes all interactive reading activities as well as auto-graded assessment, certification prep, any simulations or media assessment, and study tools as soon as you create the course. At the top of this course, you'll notice a folder on how to use simulations that are available for HVAC using Delmar Online Training 3.0. Any simulations that you'll find in construction, whether that's for building codes, electrical wiring, HVAC, welding, or something else, will usually have instructions in the course. All of these courses will also include the SP2 Soft Skills Bundle. SP2 is known for creating industry-specific safety and environmental trainings, but they also have created Soft Skills modules that students can work through when they work through these modules, whether at work, home, or in our community, they would read and listen to the information about the communication skills, and then at the end, they would take a post-test after the course summary, and if they receive at least an 80%, they would receive a certification from SP2 on communication skills, or professional success, customer success, or whichever module they're working in. As students complete SP2 modules, their names appear in the SP2 app on the right-hand side of the MindTap app doc and allow teachers to review student progress and print out certificates. Within each MindTap course, if we go into an individual unit, you'll see that there will be media like author videos. Hi, my name is Eugene Silverstein and I am the lead author of a free- Additional videos and animations are often found in a video library folder that allow students to visualize hard to understand concepts. Atmospheric pressure is measured with an instrument called a barometer. When heat is transferred by conduction, energy travels from one molecule to another within a substance. Students will also access their unit reading. Reading in MindTap is a lot more interactive than a flat ebook. Students open to a hyperlinked table of contents. Every single image or figure or graph that's in your textbook is also available and can be easily zoomed in on from the MindTap e-reader. Additionally, some of these courses may include animations and videos within the text as well. Any key terms will be hyperlinked with the definition and are also available as flashcards in the right-hand app doc. Students can study flashcards on their digital device or from a mobile app. Teachers and students also have the ability to have the text read aloud. Convection. Heat transfer by convection. Convection. In print. Increase the font size, bookmark pages, and print important pages out to be able to review later. Teachers and students can also annotate using one of four highlight colors. And teachers have a fifth highlight color in orange, which allows them to create a shared highlight. So if something's really important that you want to make sure your students pay attention to while they read, you can pre-highlight it in orange and it will be highlighted for students when they come through and read this portion of the text. Teachers and students can also add notes by clicking add note. If teachers want to share a note with a student, they can click share and save. And that note will now turn orange and live in the margin for students to read when they come through the ebook. All notes and highlights as well as bookmarks, are organized for students in the Study Hub app on the right-hand app doc. Study Hub allows students to quickly get back to sections that they've highlighted or where they've taken notes, or where teachers have highlighted or taken notes. And these are easily printable, allowing students to create a quick study guide. Teachers also have the ability to add any type of media, documents, or presentations from your device into the ebook itself by clicking the pencil tool. 
You can add any files from your Google Drive or your Microsoft OneDrive, as well as web link activities, RSS feeds to current news articles about the topic, or a YouTube video. Teachers don't have to go outside of MindTap to add a YouTube video. You can select the video, add text before or after, and continue. And now that video has been added right within the ebook for my students to watch when they come through. Courses in construction will often have study tool folders, which will include flashcards for the chapter, as well as an overview summary or PowerPoint lecture, and auto-graded practice tests. Any activities from lab manuals or workbooks are often included inside MindTap as well, allowing students to print these out and send to their instructor, or complete these lab manual documents within MindTap itself. Many of these may offer short response and multiple choice questions. Lab manuals and worksheets are manually graded by the instructor. Students can save this file, submit it to the teacher, or upload another file of their choosing. Teachers have the ability to view attempts on lab manual and workbook assignments as well as any auto-graded assessment in the Progress app on the right-hand app doc. The Progress app will show you any recently submitted assignments and upcoming assignments if you add availability and due dates. You can select an assignment and we'll see all the students who submitted that assignment as well as their score and their attempts. In this assignment, which is from the lab manual, teachers are meant to grade it manually and therefore I can view student responses by clicking the grade button. This will allow me to see everything that the student submitted and will show me the feedback that students got and a possible solution. I can edit the student's score for the assignment and add comments. The Progress app also includes data analytics, which show the teacher not just the scores that students are getting on their assignments, but also the amount of time that they're spending in MindTap as well as the percent of activities accessed, whether that's assessment and homework assignments, media, study tools, or resources that I've added to the course. Whether you're teaching HVAC, electricity, construction, carpentry, we have hands-on simulations that allow students some practice with troubleshooting and learning industry tools while they're at home or outside of the shop. HVAC simulations allow students troubleshooting practice on multiple types of HVAC equipment, including quick quizzes, as well as training simulations for any type of troubleshooting scenario for that piece of equipment. Students receive their service call from Service Dispatch on a virtual smartphone, enter the home and verify the concern, and then can use a procedure guide that offers a linear step-by-step -step instruction or a decision-making tree, whichever way that students want to walk through the scenario. And can always zoom in and change the angle of what they're viewing. They can practice using industry tools like a multimeter and can even charge the customers for repairs for replaced items. Full unit diagrams and instructional resources are also always available for students as well as helpful information that they might need to solve that troubleshooting scenario. Residential electrical wiring simulations allow students to work with 3D diagrams to fully wire an 11 room house. They always have access to circuit overviews and cable diagrams, as well as the diagram for the portion of the room that they're working on. Students move from wiring basics to wiring a full home, where they can easily move to each component, view and work within their 3D diagrams, or the electrical plan of the home. Three-part welding simulations help students learn what they should do before and after a weld to make sure that it's successful. In Module 1, they read and understand technical drawings. Students then move on to Module 2, where they set up their virtual welding workspace. In Module 3, students see 3D animations of completed welds and have to answer questions to analyze weld quality. They can move these welds 360 degrees and zoom in as needed. Within building and electrical code simulations, students work through all aspects of a house, from the footings through insulation and electrical. They view inspection points, can learn more about new codes using the code reference, and then decide whether it passes or fails. 
They can view house blueprints and change their view of the home to make sure they're accessing all inspection points. Thank you for taking some time to learn the basics of MindTap for construction courses. You can always request review access to the MindTap course of your choosing using the URL above or learn more at ngl.cengage.com backslash CTE.